anything, just come ask. No, this is going to piss dog eyes off. Seriously! At some point, Winston and Dog Eyes are going to clash, man. It's going to be epic. Winston versus Dog Eyes. <laughs> Just like the movies, man. Hey, you want to do the talking? We're collecting for Winston. Winston? Dog Eyes said he is in charge here. We're here to clarify that. What, you want to be the guy we use to clear up the confusion? I'm not afraid, you guys. Oh, my God! I'll be a tough guy. <clears throat> Boy, do that! <clears throat> I'll pay. I will pay. I'm glad I can make you see reason. Take the money, but Dog Eye won't be happy. <laughs> You killed him! He'll be fine. He'll just have to drink through a straw for a while. Over here! This guy's with dog eyes. We work for Winston. We need to discuss business. Winston? I don't have any business with Winston. Everyone has business with Winston. You're gonna pay up, you understand? Go tell Winston to stick a back choy up his ass! Hey! Fellas! These troops are moving in on your territory! Come on, guys! Kick his ass! Show him what you're made of! This isn't good! What kind of protection is this? Beat that punk! So did you have a message for Winston? He's obviously better than Dog Eyes. Please give him this payment from me. I think we're almost done, but let's check over there. Hey, hey look at that guy. He's beating up that old man. That ain't gonna fly in our turf. You don't fuck with anyone under our protection. I don't want to go. Why was he beating you? He was demanding 20 times the normal payment. Maybe he has a drug habit or something. For a small fee, Winston will make sure you don't have trouble with gangsters. That sounds very reasonable. Man, we need to get you outfitted. Over here, people need to know you're one of us. We got an image to maintain, only the best brands. People gotta know you're successful. The clothes make the man, huh? Definitely. It's all about the clothes, man. You know how it is. People judge you by how you look.
Get back to Winston. <laughs> oh, that was awesome, man. All this teen, teen, teen. It's like you were born to do this. Hey, Jackie. You want to tell her what's going on? Just keeping an eye on things. Yeah? What'd you see? I tell you what I didn't see. Nothing to be impressed about. I'm watching you, new guy. You fuck up? What? We're gonna throw down? <laughs> what kind of grade school shit is this, huh? I work my ass off all day, so fuck off and grow up. Jackie! You're coming with me. We got something to take care of. And you! Don't fuck with me. Probably, yeah. What is it? Mrs. Chu sent over some lunch, but I haven't paid yet. Can you take this back to the restaurant? All right. You might want to hurry. I heard dog guys are sending reinforcements. You should probably be gone before we get here. <sighs> <sighs> Susan's lunch. Thanks. Do you? Are you shitting me? So what'd you do? Nothing, nothing. Say mut the mold. I came straight to you. I didn't want to start anything major but without you knowing, you know? So get this. A couple years ago, this guy Ming came to me and asked me to look out for him while he did business. 
Special K mostly, but other stuff too. I thought, why not? Take a nice little cut for my boys, no problem. But this week, I send Jackie here to pick up the envelope, and he tells my boy to fuck off. Apparently, he's friends with Dog Eyes now, so we can all go fuck ourselves. You want me to make an example out of Dog Eyes? That home, Garton, is gonna get what's coming in. Right now, I need someone to take care of me. For me. You know where he's at? Yeah, he just passed the food stand around the corner. You make it up for me tonight. Oh, we got a deal. Hmm? Huh? What's that? You me. I got a message oh, for you. Ah, stop. You didn't pay Winston, asshole. Fuck you. Ugh! <laughs> 
gonna kill you. Fuck dog guys. <laughs> Winston owns this area. You fuck with us and you'll regret it. Okay, okay. But please, make sure dog guys doesn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Wei Sheng, I'm Inspector Tang. You have quite a rap sheet here. Multiple arrests in San Francisco, alleged ties to organized crime, and now you're here enforcing for the Sun on Yi. You know, you don't have to throw your life away like this. <laughs> your concern's really moving. You know, I appreciate that. I'm suddenly realizing I should have never dropped out of art school. You know, I could have made it. I could have been a real somebody. Thank you for showing me the light, officer. I want to give you a chance, Shen, but you have to work with me. Then maybe I can cut you a deal. Oh, Superintendent, I'm in the middle of an interrogation. Inspector, there's been a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding, sir? As your superior officer, I'm instructing you to release this man. But, sir, I have it on record that he's son on Yi. I understand that. I can't simply just cut him loose. I mean, you're asking me to release a criminal with known connections to the triad. And not only is it against well, for protocols... for God's sake, Tang, he's one of us. What? Jesus, Pendru, let me get the door. There are a few badges outside who didn't hear you. It's all right, Wei. We can trust her. Trust her? I just met her. Congratulations, Tang. So now you know. Maybe now we can make sure that we're helping Wei, not making his job harder than it already is, hmm? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. No. No, you don't. Now see yourself out. Permission to speak freely. Denied. You need to be more careful, Wei. Much more careful. I can't bail you out like this again. Sir, I, I don't want to hear it. Just be careful. 